Hi, David Bassanis here, Chief Economist at BetaShares. This is a snapshot of my market trends report for the month of March. Uh, and just reviewing February, another solid month for global equities. The MSCI index returning 2.5%, uh, the ASX returning 1.5%. Uh, on the back of the reopening trade continues, economic indicators are pointing up, corporate earnings are looking good. Um, and uh, we're also seeing just within that, uh, the growth, the so-called value parts of the market, I should say, things like financials and energy stocks doing somewhat better than technology stocks. Uh, also, because um, what we did see in the latter part of February and into March now is a, is a, a pretty sharp rise in bond yields. Uh, out of fear that US inflation is gonna start to pick up uh, and that may need that mean that central banks raise interest rates somewhat quicker than uh, they've been promising. Um, now, I think there is a risk of a short run uptick in US inflation. It was held down um, during COVID, and so may get a little bit of a pop to the upside. But again, like the Fed, I don't think it will last. Uh, and certainly the Fed won't. I don't think the Fed is going to be changing its outlook for interest rates, i.e. keeping them very low for, for a very long time. Uh, so if we do get a pullback in the markets in the short run on the back of uh, bond yields, I suspect it's going to be a buying opportunity because I think the, the global recovery will continue. Uh, and I think bond yields uh, you know, may well shoot to the upside in the short run, uh, but thereafter start to come back down again. Uh, US 10 year bond yields around about one and a half percent look pretty good value to me. Um, so I don't see a lot more upside um, in this environment where the Fed isn't raising interest rates. So all up, it's still a pretty encouraging backdrop, um, I, I would think as we head into 2021. That's pretty much it. Obviously, a lot more details in terms of market to trends in, in my actual report. Uh, if you'd like to see that, please visit the Insights section of our website. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next month.